Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again, and I still lost my unboxing knife. Let's get into this order. International Stabber. What can this treasure be? Well, let's see. And yes, I bought this before I paused buying gold and silver. I'm still in a pause as of the date of this video. Um, but I bought this, I think, back in early June or July, something like this. And I finally got to my location to uh, look at it. Oh, and it looks like this was sealed and then cut and then resealed. Great. Gosh, am I finally going to get a package full of rocks, guys? Honestly, I've never I've never had that happen uh, to where I get a package full of rocks or dirt, but part of me is wondering if that's ever going to happen. I'm just looking at this real quick. I just want to make sure I didn't dox anything for anyone. Huh. Interesting. So this was a package within a package, and this package was the address of the person who sold it to me. Huh. Well, that's weird. Let's go into here and see what's going to be inside. That's strange. I've never seen that. So it seems like this guy bought this and had it shipped to him, and then he immediately sold it, left it in the bag, and just put it in a bigger bag and shipped it. That's interesting. Hopefully it's not sketchy. And I'm trying not to dox anyone's address, even though it seems sketchy. Gosh. My unboxing knife could really come in handy right now, huh, guys? <laughs> Hopefully I find it. I, set, I think it just said down something. Oh, okay. So it feels heavy. It feels like silver. That's a good thing. Let me make sure there's nothing else in this package. What do you guys think right now? Let me know. Did I get scammed? Is this going to be a, uh, a rock? I mean, it seems heavy. So... Let's go into this first. And I'm gonna have to blur that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it's looking like it's actual silver so far. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just let me remove this address thing. Okay, there we go. I'm always careful with people's address, guys. I don't want to dox anyone or myself. Oh no! I'm infected, guys. I have been infected because it is, and I still don't want to say the name because I don't want to get shadow banned. It is the beer flu <laughs> one ounce round. The beer flu one ounce round. If you remember the name for this, okay, the first name is a beer, and then the second name could be called a flu, so that's why I call it the beer flu. So we got three of those, three ounces of the beer flu. What is in here? So it looks like what this guy probably did is he bought this, and then he did a quick flip. So I think I actually got a decent deal on this. I'll go check how much I paid for this. But just in case three ounces wasn't enough to infect me, I also got the 10 ounce bar. And these were really hot for a while. I think they still are. Well, let me answer that phone one second. All right, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, these were really hot for a while and they still seem hot, but look at 99 fine silver minted during the beep, beer flu pan, beep. Isn't that sad? We can't even still, like, people say you can talk about it, but major channels are still not talking about it, and there's still um, restrictions that's done to your video, so it doesn't list and all that. So I'm never going to use the real name, because I'm not trying to get censored. So if we have to come up with creative ways not to get censored, we're going to continue to do that. Um, but after I just answered the phone, I just checked, and spot was like 1743 or something like this when I got this. And I had paid uh, $19.23 per ounce, so I paid a little like a dollar something over spot, which at the time seemed pricey. But now, I mean, I don't even know what spot is today. Is it 26 or seven? Wow. So I got my little piece of uh, history. 
And you know, when these first came out, I was wondering if they were real or not. Cause I've seen them everywhere. I'm like, are these real? Are these fake? So I'd researched the company um, that made them and it seems legit, you know, a major company, but let's check it. This is the first time I've ever seen these bars around be properly checked. So we're gonna check it right now. We're gonna see, is this real or is this fake? So, let me move this around a little bit here. Let's check the one ounce rounds first. You can see this is set for one ounce, okay, in silver, pure silver. Sorry guys, for some reason the screen flickers on the screen. I think it's because it's analog. Um, so there's that one, that's good. As long as we're in the yellow or green, it's good. If it's fake, it's gonna be hardcore pressed to either side. So we got that, and this is two tests, two different tests, and I'll show you the third test with the bar. These um, are so skinny that you would not need to do the third test. Now, what is the third test? Well, sometimes with bars, guys, they can have a really thick layer of gold and silver and then be filled with tungsten. And a lot of the earlier uh, testing machines can be tricked, including the original Sigma, which is why they made the Pro, which is why I say you gotta get the Pro if you're gonna get one. So I'm gonna change this to 10 ounces. Okay, um, so, so now we're at 10 ounces of pure silver. And if I put that under there, we passed the first test, we've passed the second test, and now we can do a measurement test. And for bars, as long as they're bigger than like an ounce or two ounces, I always check. So what you do is you line it up with the light in this, and you look from above, and you line it up in the corner, and then this, you wanna have it so there's like a line around it. So you can see here, let me try to get you a better shot. Um, so there it is going around. There's the like line around it. The line is like right to it. And then you see how the line is like right there. It needs to be like right in that box. If a bar like this was fake, um, you'd be able to tell pretty easy guys. So there you go. That's how you do the third layer of protection. What do you guys think about these bars? Are they gimmicky? Was this too gimmicky? Was I a fool for getting this? Or are you think in the future people are gonna look back and go, oh, I remember that's crazy times. What do you think? For me, it's a little different too, um, because uh, many of you know I work emergency management. So I actually went to the East Coast for five days and ended up staying out there for five months, right when this thing was kicking off. Um, and the state I was in went to a state of emergency like the day I went out there. Um, so I actually ended up working the response to this for, uh, for a couple states out on the East Coast. And uh, so this is kind of cool for me to have. Um, I did get a couple of the Beer Flu Challenge coins from a few different people for my work out there. So that was cool. Um, but this is super cool. 10 ounce bar, one ounce round. Which one do you like better? And the question is, have you been infected? All right, guys. Well, that's another 13 ounces to the bar, please. <laughs> to the stack, not the bar. Please subscribe. 80, 70% of you, a high number are not subscribed to watch my videos. And please help me beat the YouTube algorithm. Smash the like, leave a comment below, share this video with your friends. The more people we get into gold and silver and share the message with, the more people that are gonna be protected and the more people that are gonna thrive in the situations we're gonna see in the future. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but I am simply one man on a journey to find silver and share my adventures around the world. Thank you for joining me, and we're going to say, catch you on the next one. Woo! Guys, I'm currently on a silver vacation. I did some crazy live streams. The Mega Gaw's coming. Who wants this kilo bar? Who wants it? Mega, 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 mega. <laughs>